Dear students, I am Father Thomas P.G., Assistant Professor, Department of Applied Electronics and Instrumentation of Nanjigiri School of Engineering and Technology. I am so delighted to introduce the topic Chromatography, 5th Module of Analytical Instrumentation Course for S8 Applied Electronics and Instrumentation Students of KTU. Chromatography was invented and named by the Russian botanist Mikhail Sijat. He firstly used this technique to separate various plant pigments. The separated species appeared as colored bands on the column, which leads to the name of chromatography. In Greek, chroma means color, graphy means writing. So the name chromatography means color writing. Chromatography is a technique for separating mixtures into their components in order to analyze, identify, and purify the mixture or components. Analyze means to examine the mixture or structure or something, especially by separating it into its parts. Purify means to make something pure by removing substances that are not wanted out of another substance that contains it. Identify means to recognize something and to, and to determine the identity of mixture. Components to be separated are distributed between two phases called stationary phase and mobile phase. Stationary phase may be a solid adsorbent or liquid partitioning agent. The mobile phase is usually a gas or liquid and it transforms the constituents of mixture through the column. Now let's see the process of chromatographic separation. The process of chromatographic separation involves transport of a sample of the mixture through the column. For this purpose, mixture may be in the liquid or gaseous state. During such transport, the material in the column exercises selective retardation on the various components of the sample. This retardation may be due to adsorption, solubility, chemical bonding, polarity or molecular filtration of the sample. Therefore, the components of the mixture tend to move through at a different effective rate and thereby result in tending to segregate into separate zones or bands. In the figure, we see the column containing the stationary phase and load it with your sample at the top and you add eluent or solvent into the sample. It splits into its components. Let's say they are colored red, yellow and blue. This one at different speeds and emerge one at a time at the bottom where you can collect them in different containers. Visual output of the chromatograph is chromatogram. Different patterns on the chromatogram correspond to different components of the separated mixture. In the graph, retention time is plotted on x-axis and solute concentration that leaving a chromatographic column is plotted on y-axis. Retention time is defined as time taken for the analyte to pass through the system under set conditions. When we study the basic operation of chromatography, we see it involves four main functions. Ingestion of feed, separation of the column, elution from the column, detection of components. Now let's discuss the functions one by one. Ingestion of feed. The feed session consists of mobile phase and the sample whose components to be separated. The mobile phase flows through the system by the action of pumping. A single post of the sample is introduced at the head of the column. Separation in the column. 
as the sample flows through the column the components of the sample distribute themselves between the two phases different components will absorb to the stationary phase to various degrees those with strong attraction to the support move more slowly than those with weak attraction introduction of additional mobile phase forces solvent containing a part of the sample down the column where further partition between the mobile and fresh portion of this stationary phase occurs elution from the column after the sample is flushed or replaced from the stationary phase the different component will elute from the column at different times the components with least affinity from the stationary phase will elute first while those with the greatest affinity for the stationary phase will elute last detection of components the different components are collected as they emerge from the column a detector analyzes the emerging stream by measuring a property which is related to concentration and characteristics of chemical composition chromatographic methods can be classified in two ways the first classification is based upon the physical means by which the stationary and mobile phases are brought into contact they are column chromatography and planar chromatography in column chromatography the stationary phase is held in a narrow tube through which the mobile phase is forced under pressure in planar chromatography the stationary phase is supported on a flat plate here the mobile phase moves through the stationary phase by the influence of gravity or by capillary action the second and important classification is based upon the types of mobile phase and stationary phase used they are mainly gas chromatography and liquid chromatography the mobile phase may be either gas or liquid the stationary phase may be either solid or liquid based upon mobile phase used the chromatography is classified into gas and liquid chromatography and based upon stationary phase used the gas and liquid chromatography is classified into gas solid chromatography gas liquid chromatography liquid solid chromatography a liquid liquid chromatography gas chromatography is the technique used for the separation of thermally stable and volatile organic and inorganic compounds there are two types of gas chromatography gas solid chromatography and gas liquid chromatography among these two types of gas chromatography gas liquid chromatography is the most commonly used gas solid chromatography has limited applications due to semi permanent retention of analyte and low linear character of absorption process the basic parts of gas chromatograph are carrier gas supply along with pressure regulator and flow regulator for the constant flow of carrier gas sample injection system for the introduction of sample vapors into the flowing gas stream chromatographic column with an appropriate length of stationary phase thermal compartment or thermostat for the maintenance of column at appropriate temperature detection system for the detection of sample components as they elute from the column microprocessor or recorder to provide a readable signal proportional in magnitude to the amount of each component present in the analyte the carrier gas is made available in a compressed form in a cylinder the gas is conducted from the cylinder through pressure and flow regulator to a sample injection port maintained at certain temperature t1 which ensures rapid vaporization but no thermal degradation of the solute 
gas and liquid samples are injected by the syringes through a self-sealing silicon rubber diaphragm in the injection port. The solute vapor mixes almost instantaneously with the flowing carrier gas and is swept into the column. The different solutes in the vaporized samples are separated from each other while it passes through the column which is maintained at another temperature T2. This temperature determines the time for the passage of the solutes and the resolution and efficiency of the column. At the end of the column, detector is placed which produces an electrical signal corresponding to the quantity of solute leaving the column. The detector signal can be directly applied to the recorder and a plot of time signal amplitude called chromatogram is obtained or the signal can be applied to the microprocessor for further processing of the signal. High pressure liquid chromatography is the most widely used of all the analytical separation process. Instrumentation of high pressure liquid chromatography or the basic components of HPLC are solvent reservoir for the mobile phase and its treatment, pumping system to force the liquid mobile phase through the column, sample injection system for the introduction of sample in the mobile phase, chromatographic column with an appropriate length of stationary phase, detection system for the detection of sample components as they loot from the column, microprocessor or recorder to provide a readable signal proportional in magnitude to the amount of each components present in the analyte. The mobile phase liquid from the solvent reservoir is delivered to the column by some types of pump. The pumping system must be pulse free or pulse damper must be installed to avoid instability in the detector. Sampling valves or loops are used to inject the sample into the flowing mobile phase. The sample dissolves in the mobile phase. The different species of the sample are separated from each other while it passes through the column. Detection system senses these components as they loot from the column and produces a signal proportional to the amount of solute passing through the detection system. The signal is applied to the recorder or a microprocessor for further processing of the signal. Chromatography has a wide range of applications in routine and research work in medical and industrial fields. It can be used for the separation of amino acid, proteins and carbohydrates. It can be also used for the analysis of drugs, hormones and vitamins. It is helpful for making qualitative and quantitative analysis of complex mixtures. It is used for the determination of molecular weight of the proteins. These are the reference books based on which I made this presentation. Thank you and all the best.